Well, good morning, ladies, and welcome to week one of our Bible study on Elohim, the mighty creator. And from the very first verse in the very first book of the Bible, we find this Hebraic name of God, Elohim. The name Elohim holds a weighty meaning, but the closest summary to, is to say that Elohim describes God as the mighty creator. It seems fitting that we should start our study here. After all, Elohim is a God of beginnings, of fresh starts, of turning nothing into something. To begin today, we're going to read Genesis chapter 1. And I know some of you probably have read this chapter many times, and you can probably even quote it from memory. But go ahead and read it again, only this time, Replace the name God with Elohim, mighty creator. Really take that in as you read today. That's your God. The same God who was there in the beginning is the one who created you and I and everything around you. The same God that is able and desires to meet your needs right now. I don't know about you, that, but that gives me so much hope. And as we study this week, we're going to look a little deeper into our almighty creator and what that name reveals about his character. You know, when I was in second grade, I took my little children's Bible out one day and I carefully pinned the entire first chapter of Genesis on a piece of paper to give to my teacher, Miss Sweeney. It took me an entire afternoon an evening because I wanted my penship to be perfect. When I was finished, I was so pleased with myself that I thought about putting a gold star at the top myself, but I didn't want to be too presumptuous. So I carefully placed it inside my little Crayola satchel so that it wouldn't get bent or wrinkled. And the next morning I presented it to Miss Sweeney as a gift. See, I loved Miss Sweeney and I wanted to create something perfect for her. And because I adored her so much, at the time, it was the nicest gift I could think to give her. And the story of creation in Genesis is not just a story about an amazingly per perfect world created by God. The story of creation is a love story. And we, my dear sisters, are the Miss Sweeney's. An almighty creator, already perfect, God created a beautiful masterpiece of a world for us. He created us in his own image, and he was delighted by all that he had made. He went ahead and placed a gold star on it himself by calling it good and even very good. So take a minute today as you study to go outside and consider these questions. What can you observe about the world he has created? What do you think it means to be created in the image of God? And how would you live if you lived with a constant awareness that he created you to bear his image? God was delighted by what he had made, proclaiming it good and even very good. How does God's assessment of creation Shape your own attitude toward the world and toward yourself. I hope you enjoy this study this week. All of these questions in the study guide are listed below in a link where you can easily access them. God bless you as you study this week, and I'll see you next Monday.